What's up guys? This is Tyler from Typhoon Gaming and welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we finally got the Nintendo Switch. I've been waiting hundreds and thousands of years for this day and it is finally here. I cannot wait. So here is the box and the back of the box as well. So we'll get into the unboxing of that soon. I also got the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Uh, it was a little bit expensive, but I'm super excited about this. I think it's going to be an amazing for gameplay. I could not order the uh, Neon Switch at the time that I pre-ordered, so I went ahead and pre-ordered the Neon Joy-Cons in case I want to switch those out. And also got 1-2 Switch to start. And of course, we have Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm super excited about these two games. And I also plan on downloading Snipper Clips as soon as I get the system set up. And then the honorable mention, the 128 gigabyte micro SD card to uh, store some extra stuff, including games. So I'm really excited about this. Let's get right into the unboxing and hopefully it does not take long to set up. Here we go. All right, guys, we're going to start things off by unboxing the Nintendo Switch, the main event. The box is actually pretty small. There's the front, here is the back, and then there's just a tab here that holds it all together. So we'll pull that tab back, flip it open, and there you have the console and the Joy-Cons presented right from the start. So we will slowly and carefully remove the Joy-Cons. They are so small, I knew <laughs> I knew they were going to be small just like based on pictures and stuff, but these are way smaller than I really imagined from the start. There you have the console, the screen, we'll take that out of its plastic in a minute. Let's go ahead and get the rest of the box. Um, we have the two wrist straps for the Joy-Con controllers, we'll set those next to them. We have the... Joy-Con grip that it comes with. Uh, this does not actually charge the Joy-Cons, which I wish they would have included one that charged the Joy-Cons, but it's whatever. I probably won't use this too much since I got the Pro Controller. Looks like over here we have the dock, so we'll go ahead and get that out of its packaging. All right guys, there's the dock. There's the back end. This is the uh, door that opens up on that. And then you also have the uh, AC adapter, the USB, and the HDMI out right there. And then that closes up so you can neatly tuck your cables away. And then there's the front of it. You can see my <laughs> fingerprints and also the Nintendo Switch logo at the right lighting. There you go. Um, that looks awesome as well. The, the dock is very small and very lightweight. Has some a couple of USBs in the front of it as well. So this will look really nice uh, next to my TV or on my desk. Now we just have some cables. It looks like we have a standard HDMI cable right there. And then to power the beast, we have just your typical AC adapter. And this is actually a USB-C end to it. So that, I'm really excited about that. All right guys, so first things first, let's take a look at these Joy-Cons. These are so small. You may not be able to tell exactly from the video, but this is like my thumb, and it's like the same size as the Joy-Con. Very, very small. So there you have the Joy-Con controllers once again next to each other. These are the gray ones, and then we'll be unboxing the neon ones as well. All right, guys, moving on to the console itself. This is the Switch. I do not want to drop this, <laughs> so I'm gonna be extra careful. Here it is. This thing looks amazing. Super sleek, super thin. And then we also have the Nintendo Switch logo on the back of it with a couple of speakers down at the bottom. Looks like we have the USB-C at the bottom as well for charging and for docking. All right, and then there's the kickstand as well. You can see it's very low profile. And then the uh, micro SD card goes right into the uh, back here where the kickstand opens up. And then we also have the power button, volume buttons on the top, and then the slot for your game card here on the top. Wow, it's very easy to slide them in. 
really excited about that. I was a little bit worried that maybe they would be kind of hard to get onto the console, but yeah, it works really well. You just have to make sure they snap in like that. And then there you have it. That is the console with the Joy-Cons on it. All right, the next on the list is the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. I'm super excited about this because the Wii U Pro Controller was one of the best controllers I've used uh, for gaming. So I definitely needed to get the Nintendo Switch version. So let's get this opened up. Got some cardboard. The controller itself. Take it out. Awesome. I'm already loving the looks of it. It's the perfect size. It has nice big buttons for the Y, B, X, and A. And then this also, I was wondering this, but this one also uses USB-C on the top uh, for charging it, so that is awesome. That's really cool. And then this also has the HD rumble that the Nintendo Switch has. It has your capture button that the uh, Joy-Cons have, and it also has the home button on it. This also has the NFC reader for uh, reading data from Amiibos as well, so that's awesome. All right guys, next on the list are the Neon Joy-Cons. I'm super excited I got these because I think they look super cool. The blue and red are both so bright and it just adds some extra fun to the console. Let's get these opened up. All right, we got the flap opened up. Let's go ahead and take them out. Blue first and then the neon red. And then these also come with their own straps. I was reading that the uh, red was much brighter than you would expect. It may look a little bit dulled down on camera, but I promise you it is very, very bright. And then there is the blue. They look so cool. I'm so glad I went with the neon ones as well. So yep, we just slide them on just like we would into the console. They click in and they actually feel, they feel small. Um, in your hands, but I think it'll be really fun for like some co-op games and mini games and that type of thing So super excited to try those guys out as well. All right guys last but not least we have the two games that I started with We have one two switch and we also have the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild I'm super excited about these two games one two switch should be a lot of fun to play with friends and the uh, inside of the cases it is very uh, unexciting. I mean, there's no instruction booklet or anything. You just have the tiny little game cartridge down here. So, and then Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild will pop that open as well. You just have some cool art on the inside of the box and then the tiny cartridge there as well. So these cartridges are very small. Um, I would say that they're about the size of an SD card. So yeah, just make sure you don't lose these. Be extra careful and make sure you uh, put them away as soon as you're not using them in the console anymore. Go ahead and put that back in and then let's get the console set up. All right. Super cool. All right, let's set this up. All right, so now the Joy-Cons are disconnected. Do we select an icon or do we go me? I think we gotta go the me route. All right guys, the console is all set up. We have the uh, theme changed to dark, which I think looks awesome. So let's go ahead and get a game in here and get it loaded up. All right, so you just open this little compartment up here and then slide the cartridge right into it. Should click into place and then almost immediately we get the uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild option there on our home screen. That's super cool. All right guys, so I think I've done all the necessary hookups. I have the uh, Wii U here and then I also have the Switch next to it. Uh, I got it all hooked up to my computer. The Switch is currently downloading snipper clips right now, so we'll go ahead and dock this guy. First time getting him docked and then we will flip over to the actual TV or the monitor, um, check that stuff out. But we also have the uh, Pro Controller charging as well, so we're ready to use that later. So I'm super excited, and hopefully we can start playing games soon. The first thing you see are your games. Um, I have Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in the console right now, so that's why that one is right here. And then I also downloaded snipper clips from the eStore, so that is why you're seeing snipper clips there in the second slot. Um, if you come down here to these uh, sections down here, there's news, 
and that will just show you some recent news um, about different games and upcoming releases and things like that. You can watch videos and all that good stuff. Uh, the very next one is the Nintendo eShop. When you click on these, you'll select your user to uh, access them. Um, but basically the eShop is where you can buy and download games and downloadable content and all that kind of stuff. The next one is album. So when you use the capture button on the Joy-Con or the Pro Controller to take screenshots, this is where those uh, screenshots will show up. And then you can actually edit them from here and then post them to the Miiverse and all that good stuff as well. So that's what that does. Uh, the next one is controllers, so you can see the status of your controllers, battery life, um, whether they're charging or not, and then you can see the battery life on your console itself to see how high that is. So I'm using the Pro Controller right now. It is not charging, but it has a full battery. Um, the next is system settings, so this just has a bunch of various things like adjusting the screen brightness on your console, parental controls, managing your users and Miis, managing your Amiibos, the themes, so you can have either a basic white or a basic black theme. I like the dark theme, so that's what I'm sticking with. Um, setting up notifications, sleep mode, TV settings, like your TV resolution and all that stuff. And then finally, uh, system. This is where you come to do the system update, uh, change your language, your region, or date and time, that, that type of thing. So yeah, it's super basic and simple to use. The UI is very user friendly. And then also sleep mode here. Um, that's if you wanna put your console into sleep mode. Um, yeah, it's an awesome, awesome, system. I'm super excited to start playing some games and showing you guys more content. Um, but thank you all so much for watching this unboxing and setup video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions about the console or anything whatsoever, leave those questions down below in the comments. But anyways, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to leave a like and comment below. But until next time, I'm out.